huge milestone for us today, fantastically exciting um, and the end of an epic journey, first phase opening, um, so new habitat, new home for our orangutan and our siamang and it's just fantastic to be able to welcome people here today for the first time. Two and a half years build time, um, but many more years in the planning. If you look around, what you'll see is this, inc probably most notably, is the incredible network of aerial pathways that we put in. So this allows the orangutans and the siamang to come out of their habitat areas and explore the wider zoo. So when people are sat having a coffee or, or a bowl of hot chips at our new cafe, uh, they'll be able to see the orangs and the siamangs over the lake. Auckland Zoo is proudly part of Regional Facilities Auckland and, and being part of the wider Auckland Council family has made this happen. Um, and it's been an incredibly difficult time, an incredibly challenging time with COVID-19 and the zoo itself going into lockdown for a, a number of weeks, which obviously delayed the opening of this, which is a bit frustrating. But um, it's probably even more exciting now that we can actually get it across the finish line. There's a lot of science gone into the planning of the, of the whole habitat areas, um, looking at their biology, looking at their natural behaviour and designing this space so it meets their needs, so it provides them with constant challenges, provides them with, with things to do to, that test them physically, test them mentally. Well, this is the largest project we've, we've, we've done in, in well, almost 100 years of our existence and it's a project that's involved everybody in the organisation, not just the keeping staff but everybody across the board. Behind me we've got our two Siamang, Kira and Intan, um, and they've been in here for a good number of weeks now, settled in completely, and they're, they're using the space in the way that we'd originally planned and we'd originally intended. So, so they are by nature arboreal animals, they don't come down to the ground, they live their whole lives in the trees in Indonesia, and um, this is what these guys are doing here. Um, and you know, they are exceptionally happy and it's fantastic to see that the, the, the fruits of all this labour, the fruits of all this investment result in these two animals living these exceptional lives. I've been lucky enough to be involved in the design and construction of this incredible new habitat here at Auckland Zoo. Um, I'm standing in front of the Siamang habitat at the moment and we've also got an amazing orangutan habitat. We've also got this incredible extensive network of aerial pathways that are going to allow our animals the opportunity to move outside of their habitats and around the zoo and move above people and over the lake. The design and the ideas for the design came about um, utilising a number of expertise from a whole range of different people um, both inside the zoo including myself and outside the zoo and we've drawn on experiences both um, from other zoos and, and done extensive research and also um, a lot of visits to other zoos around the world to get sort of the best ideas and, and what works and what doesn't work so well. Um, but also in Sumatra, where I'm lucky enough to do a lot of work, um, a lot with orangutans. Auckland Zoo's Conservation Fund supports some, a number of wild work projects in Sumatra, the Sumatran Ranger Project, the Sumatran Orangutan Conservation Programme and also the Wildcats Conservation Alliance. And so I'm really lucky that I get to spend quite a big portion of my life in Sumatra in Indonesia and I'm in the forest a lot and I'm observing Siamangs in the wild and I'm observing orangutans in the wild and so to be able to bring all that knowledge, um, that first hand knowledge of how particularly when we were designing this habitat it's looking at how these animals move and how do they live in the wild and their physiological and behavioural adaptations and designing um, these habitats around that, so how can we best support their physiological and their behavioural needs which ultimately gives them really good positive welfare. We're ready to open now, we're ready to welcome our visitors into this incredible new area. We've had it to ourselves for so long now, the primate team, um, you know we've been um, getting the animals acclimatised to their new environment after they've had this two and a half years in Christchurch and we've also, with, when we had lockdown, <laughs> which was actually um, an incredible opportunity for us to bond with the animals but also for them um, to resettle back into their environment and get used to what's going on around them and get used to this whole new outlook that they have. We've got these incredible shared shelters where you can get up close and you can have these incredible interactions with these amazing animals um, and we're also really excited to be able to, to share the wild work that we do in Sumatra with our visitors because ultimately we couldn't do it without them. Um, Every time a visitor comes into Auckland Zoo, they are supporting our wild work. They are helping enable us to do all this incredible conservation work that we do and make such a difference in the wild. At the moment, we're working on a really exciting introduction plan for our Siamangs and our orangutans. So ultimately, what we want to do is to have both species living together harmoniously. <laughs> so you can't rush that. So um, we're just going with what the animals are showing us. And so far, it's all really positive. 
Um, eventually, in the not too distant future, we will have the aerial pathway network completed and that will enable us to have a lot more flexibility to be able to have orangutans and siamangs moving fluidly between the two habitats. So that's a work in progress and it's going to be an unbelievable experience for our public to be able to come in and see both orangutans and siamangs 25 metres above them in the air, you know, as they would be um, in the canopy um, on these aerial pathways and that is going to be coming really soon so there's still a lot to look forward to. There's all this exciting stuff going on right now um, but we've also got a lot more happening in the not too distant future.